What does it mean to devote your life to the truth? Does it mean investigating communist subversion here in America? Does it mean exposing the deadly fentanyl crisis in the Midwest? Or spending late nights and covering deep government corruption? Does it mean persevering over 20 years, even after four masked men set one of our printing presses on fire last year? Because at a time when America's traditional values are under attack, it's the responsibility of righteous journalists to uphold truth and tradition. China is the most significant geopolitical threat facing the United States for the next century. If there are growing tensions between the United States and China, it's only because the United States is finally standing up to Chinese aggression against the United States, long-standing aggression on multiple fronts. There is no free trade with a totalitarian regime that controls everything. They have no profit motive, right? They control the balance sheet and profit statement of every firm. No one knows that. One of the things that China was extremely strict on us about was if, if you're going to have access to this market and you're going to have access to market and promote this movie far beyond most movies, you need to shoot the movie here. But the takedown really is on the economic side, like Reagan did it to USSR. We do have an option. 
take away Chinese banks' ability to settle their transactions worldwide in U.S. dollar. People say everything in life is cyclical. It really is. My mom told me, Fuya, I have to run away. You should listen to your grandma. You should be a good kid. With a seven-year prison term, they deprived me of the best years of my life. They deprived me of the best time to educate my child. When I think back, it's just like a dream. I started to think about what I had been holding on to for all these years. Good evening, thanks for joining us. This is NTD Business, and I'm Paul Greening.